HTC Vive isn't letting Oculus have the entire VR market to itself, while the Oculus Quest 2 is taking over the inexpensive, consumer-friendly side of virtual reality. HTC Vive is doubling down on professional-grade VR with the Vive Pro 2 and Focus 3 headsets. The names say it all. The Vive Pro 2 is a direct sequel to the 2018's Vive Pro, which was notable for fixing all the ergonomic issues we had with the original Vive. The Focus 3, meanwhile, is a successor to the Focus Plus standalone headset. Both devices offer 5K displays, an expansive 120 degree field of view, and real RGB subpixels, which help make everything look sharp and reduces the screen door effect that plagues cheaper headsets. Unfortunately, you'll have to pay a lot for all that tech. The Vive Pro 2 costs $749 on its own, and $1,400 if you need the Steam VR base stations and Vive controllers. The Vive Focus 3 is even harder to stomach at $1,300, a full $1,000 more than the Oculus Quest 2. The Vive Pro 2 looks the same as the original design-wise, but according to HTC, there wasn't much that needed to change. The Vive Pro is still one of the most comfortable headsets around, after all. Instead, HTC focused on useful internal upgrades, like that new 5K screen, which runs at a smooth 120Hz refresh rate. The company was also able to increase its field of view by introducing a stacked dual lens system, which means VR worlds will take up even more of your vision. HTC Vive spent more time refining the design of the Focus 3. That makes sense, as the original Focus and Focus Plus never felt all that comfortable. HTC says it's rebalanced the Focus 3's weight, which should make it more comfortable to wear, and it is using a new strap design to secure it. The battery is now located on the rear head strap, and it's hot swappable. That'll be helpful to anyone running VR training sessions, as you can conceivably keep one headset going all day with minimal downtime. The Vive Focus 3 is powered by Qualcomm's Snapdragon XR2 platform, but HTC Vive says it also optimized that hardware to run at peak performance. There's a copper heat pipe and cooling fan in the front of the headset's display, which brings in cool air from the bottom and spits heat out the top. That's another upgrade that could make the Focus 3 easier to wear, as less heat should lead to less sweating. When it comes to input devices, the Focus 3 has new controllers that closely resemble the Oculus Quest's gamepads. The full Vive Pro 2 kit, meanwhile, still comes with the original Vive Wand controllers. The company says you can also connect any Steam VR controller, including the Index's excellent finger tracking devices, but it's still a shame that there hasn't been much of an evolution with its own offerings. It's a bit unfair to compare consumer to professional grade hardware though. HTC Vive is clearly targeting business customers who don't mind paying a bit more for higher quality hardware, and who demand more responsive customer service. The Focus 3 in particular is built around business needs. The Vive business device management system allows IT workers to manage Focus 3 headsets just like they do PCs within their network. And there's also a more secure app store for snagging training files and business software. The big takeaway, these headsets probably aren't meant for you as a consumer, but they're yet another sign that there's still plenty of life left within the VR market. While HTC Vive isn't ready to talk about consumer upgrades yet, it's easy to imagine how the 5K display and increased field of view can move over to a future Cosmos headset. But that market may be a tougher battle, given just how much Oculus and Facebook are focusing on delivering cheap and accessible VR. At the very least, the Vive Pro 2 and Focus 3 show that HTC Vive still wants to make an impact in the world of VR. Thanks for watching, and if you want to see more videos from Engadget, please subscribe. Oh,